slide back in the other direction with 30s. We've had 70s today, believe it or not, even with the clouds out there. Beautiful. I want to show you, though, that we are getting a little bit of the pavement wet out there right now. Just within the last 30 minutes, we've started to see some dampening on the roads out over Talia Espresso. You're looking there toward North Wilkesboro and the Poor's Knob area. So dampening of the pavement, that's about it. Also up in Boone, the Shaper Center showing you that, too. And we're looking at lots of clouds. Heavy rain chances uh, for folks uh, really out of the question with this system. It's more of a gentle upper low. You're going to get some passing showers as we go through the evening hours and a few might be spotty across parts of the tribe, just not a lot of heavy rainfall. So it's not like what we had on Monday your Halloween before all the trick or treaters got out where we had that heavy shower action today, though, a few pockets of moderate downpours along 64. We'll see those showers roll over North Wilkes. We might get your windshield wipers going there, but folks to the east, a spotty shower here and there 65 right now in Walnut Cove and we get you down to near 44 degrees overnight, warming you up to about 62 tomorrow. It's a cooler day, but not as cool as where we've been in the mountains today as you've been hanging out in the upper 50s. Nice for you too in the foothills getting you down to about 48 degrees. You got 67 and then lots of sunshine. So that's the key tomorrow is that we have the sunshine returning. We got temperatures typically about 85 degrees. So far we hit 70 degrees and 75 yesterday. Not bad, right? To have temperatures just kind of slide down just a touch and your morning lows also holding on because we've got so much cloud cover. So we are going to be above normal for morning lows and still just a bit above normal for afternoon highs even though we're out of the 70s tomorrow. Really nice day. Winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10. Sunshine and absolutely beautiful. Over the next several days, you notice that we're in the upper 60s Thursday, so that might be the coolest day until we hit Wednesday of next week. Trade-off will be that we'll add in some shower possibilities by then too. So warm up coming for the weekend. It's just not the sun up that we would really like to see. You do have over the next Saturday, Sunday stretch rain chances, about a 40% ch uh, chance in the mountains along the Blue Ridge Parkway. And on Sunday, slightly lower chance, but still spotty showers here and there. You've got some clouds. Your temperatures, however, are going to feel more comfortable. You've got those 70s and that continues out through Saturday and Sunday across the triad. We're looking at November warm up conditions, potentially slightly above normal. These are chances to be above normal from our average highs, and it does look like the triad is in that zone. So we're hoping that maybe we'll run 5, 10 degrees would be really nice, right? Keep you in the 60s at least to the low 70s. Dry also, that looks to be the stretch for you as we look ahead for the following month and just this first week of November so far so good with temperatures. It has been cloudy though and a little on the rainy side. Now we do need the rainfall rainfall totals so far today have been under about 10th of an inch. So this is a very light rain event for us and we're noticing that we've got yeah the ridge of high pressure actually in control. It's the system aloft those mid and upper level of that energy and moisture moving through for us tonight, creating what we have out there right now. Not a lot of wind gusts of winds, although a little bit breezy up in the mountains haven't been too bad. You can see satellite imagery showing us where we have the thicker clouds, mostly to the west, and that's where we have seen the temperatures hold in the 50s to low 60s for folks in the foothills too, and to mid 60s. You made it 65 in Mount Airy, 70 so far in Greensboro and 69 in Burlington. So love this trend, but we are getting that dry air moving through tomorrow. You see it right there, and that's going to bring us some sunshine. Some much needed sunshine too after some morning fog in the mountains and then your temperatures there even not so bad. Seven day forecast showing you the time changes we get you into the weekend. We'll have much more for you coming up. Thank you, Michelle. And